Oh well, I'm going to do another in my series of very poorly watched uh, videos about things that polite people do not talk about. Wait, hold on a second. And uh, today, the one thing I'm going to talk about that polite people don't talk about is religion. Religion. Which I know uh, as much about as a lot of people. And um, believe it or not, I was raised as a religious person. I've read holy books and various types of uh, versions of religion. So... The, let me let me just start out. I was going to run through and give you my overview of re all these different religions and, uh, you know, the analysis of the Christians and the analysis of the Muslims and the Buddhists and the Hindus and all that. And uh, they're, they're all, they're not all the same, but they're in some ways similar because they're all looking at... Um, God or the what is the true nature of existence I think is what religion is really all about because you know Buddhists at least certain types of Buddhists don't believe in God uh, I start out I will start out by telling you a an event that I, a story of a religion that I was going into a Walmart one day it was, uh, it was in an area that I didn't live. I didn't know anybody, but it was I had to stop in there and uh, pick something up, a tool for my job. And I was in the parking lot. I'm walking in, and some woman, some woman about 30 years old with a, no makeup on, with a big smile on her face, and she says, Hi. And I, you know, I'm a, I'm a friendly guy. I said, Hi, how you doing? And she says, good. And then here it comes. Have you found Jesus? She says to me. And I'm like, I have, I'm in a hurry. I got to get to work. I'm buying this tool so I can get back and do something I need to work. And I, I just wanted to blow her off as quickly as I could. So I said to her, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a Catholic, I tell her. And she says to me, Oh, that's all right. We've gotten Catholics to become Christians, too, you know. Catholics could become Christians. And, I, and I, I was raised, you know, as a Catholic. I went eight years to Catholic school, you know. And uh, I looked at her, and I said, Catholics are Christians. And she goes, oh, no, no, no. No, there's something completely different. They're not Christians, she says. So... I just like said goodbye, and I well you know what, but what I started to do with people like that since that time, and anybody who just walks up to me in the clear blue sky in the middle of the day, sometimes anyway I do is when somebody says hello, hey, can I interest you in changing your entire view of your life and everything and you should be my view of life and take my view of life and become a Christian? And I would always say to them now and many times, say, no, no, you should not believe in Jesus. Jesus is a bunch of baloney. Don't believe it. And they would get all, oh, oh. they get all, you know, I've had, I had, I had to go after a few Christians like that. And they get really upset, you know. They start saying things like, you are the devil, you know. So, what is the underlying idea behind religion, I think, is that people need something that gives them assurance. So, because my version of it is, you know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong about what my version of reality is. My version of reality is I have no idea what reality really is. I don't have to, when you die, do you die? Is your essence of spirit or being just dead and like a electrical impulse is just spread out into the electrical ether and and uh, your body is biodegraded into the earth and and eaten up and the water evaporates and 
into the air, you know, and you're, there's nothing left of you except your, other people's memories of you. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And, and I don't think anybody does know. That's kind of the point. You know, they, they try to tell you that they talk to God and when they pray, they can make things okay. And, they, you know, but it, I don't see any evidence of that whatsoever. I, I see no evidence that any of that is true. But I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong. Perhaps, perhaps, I mean, this is the thing. If they tell you that if you don't believe in the way that they tell you you have to believe, God will send you to hell for all eternity, where your body will not be consumed by the fire, but you will feel the pain constantly for all eternity. And then, this, you know, for some reason I'm supposed to love God, you know? I mean, how can you love somebody who would do something so horrible to you just because you didn't kiss their ass? I can't figure it out. You know, this is just religion, you know, and, and it's something that I, I could be wrong, you know, and maybe I will be. When I die, it's going to go just like they say, and and that that's kind of the the hard sell that religion has. They they tell you that I have the only one true belief that everybody should believe. And if you don't believe the way that I'm telling you you ought to believe, then you are screwed big time. Well, I, I personally don't like to be pushed. I don't like to be given ultimatums, you know. It just makes me mad. So thank you. I'm not following any religion.